today on the North American Journeyman. Since our last game where we lost to Real España, we've played 12 league games with Real Sociedad. How many of those games have we lost? Zero. So things are going pretty well. And with the national team? Well, we already qualified for the World Cup. So here's the results. This is when we were last here. Real España, they're pretty good. We're like tied with them at the top of the table. But we've went on an absolute tear, especially recently. I won't take you through all of them, but these three draws were all rescued. 90 plus four, 90 plus five, 90 plus three. So we were, you know, we weren't super settled but then something clicked. We changed the tactic around a little bit because here's one thing in this league, most teams outside of, I think, one so far that we've played have very, very, very narrow pitches. And I was trying to run a narrow system. So I think it was, it was too narrow. It was like trying to fit a narrow peg in a more narrow hole and it wasn't working. So we changed the tactic up. We've improved, obviously. We've picked up some players along the way. Free transfers and all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, the window closed and then we got our team up and running and people were getting fit. Players getting bedded in and we're looking pretty good. Now, with the national team, we've played some interesting contests. We have no... Our worst position is center back. Our next worst position is right back, and our worst position after that is left back. So, I mean, all four, all four positions, two center backs, and the, all four back four are bad. So four to two against Puerto Rico, and then a seven four against Guyana. They definitely proved to be the most difficult team that we've played so far. We beat them one nil in the last game, but boom, they've taken results off of each other. So Honduras is going to the World Cup in America and Mexico and Canada. So that's fun. I meant to show you some of those games, but it just happened so fast. I didn't think the Guyana game was going to seal it. Not because of our result, because I thought Puerto Rico was actually going to be okay. But they were not good. And so we decided to come back and show you some Real Sociedad games. Because we're cruising, we're crushing it. It's super fun. Real España is very good. We're back today for the Olympia game. They are struggling hard. They're struggling pretty hard. And then Marathon, who's kind of the up-and-coming team that's a little bit higher than they should be in the league. So we'll play those two games today. Because we might not see much of these boys these Real Sociedad, Royal Society, Hondurans, because there's a job that I think I might be able to grab at this point, and it's one of the dream jobs. It's not available now, but it's insecure, and I'm keeping my eye on it about every day, and it's Saprisa, who is loaded and we could really use this as a launch pad to try and win the CONCACAF Cup. I'm not saying we couldn't do it in Honduras. But I think this guy's about to get axed. Because their form is horrendous. And I was hoping they'd sack their manager here or maybe here. And then I'd get hired real quick. And then we'd just play right in the semifinal of the Central American Cup. And then just snag a quick trophy, and then, hey, that accomplishment, that objective for the save is done. But no, they have hung on to their manager, and they ended up losing anyways to Herediano. So it's an all-Costa Rica final. I think it's the top six teams from this that make it to the Champions Cup. 
So you lose in the quarterfinal. If you win in the quarterfinal, you make it. And if you lose, then you end up in a continental places playoff. So Olympia made it in. So them and Platensi was in this competition from Honduras. And the boys we tried to apply for, Jalahu and Cartines from Costa Rica. So potentially we might not stick around here much longer. So we're going to show you what's going on. Our team is rocking and they're rolling. Um, who is crushing it more than anyone else? Oh, I just changed this. Why is this? This is one of the... You know what? I've talked about my least favorite mini games in this. Save. And there's nothing worse than resizing these categories and getting it to stay the way you want it. It's it's impossibly tedious. Come on. Oh, now that one's too small. We that you might just watch. This might be all you get for this whole episode. Because you just cannot fix these things. That's probably gonna change anyways. Um Bernardez is suspended. He's our backup left back. We have another one though, somewhere around here. Maybe not. Um, but who is crushing it? Kind of everybody. Look at how we're well we're spreading the goals. Davy Flores, he was off to a pretty slow start, but this guy as a Mazala is popping up with goals. Boy, he's doing a good job. Um, I've been playing Keati a couple times, been doing okay. But it is against the big boys Olympia, even though they're having a down year. Romero just hasn't cut it. So if we could bring bring uh, Bartlett in. I asked again if he'd come from Delphine's and he said that we weren't ambitious enough. Maybe he knows I'm potentially going out the door. Maybe he knows something I don't. I don't know if we'd get that job, but I'm really pushing for it. Iyanku's crushing it. He's doing really good. Our boy from Delphine's, he's just a monster, but... Anyways, I've been waffling on, just going on and on and on about stuff, but you know, I've got a lot to catch you up on. But what you need to know is that we are on fire at Real Sociedad. I need to take a sip. Getting a little dry mouthed over here. I mean, we're doing, we're doing fantastic. Let's just keep it up, boys. Just keep this rocking, keep this rolling. We always do this, still no red cards. Knock on wood. Um, there's some players of theirs, this youngster on the right wing, I've been keeping an eye on him. Edwin Flores, he's in my national team. For whatever reason in CONCACAF qualifiers, you can pick 50 players for the squad. Makes no sense. But it also means that there's a bunch of riffraff in there that's never going to play. Can we beat Olympia today? I mean, we're more or less qualified for the playoffs in the opening phase. But we really want to wrap up one of the top two spots because then you get a bye into the semifinals. And that would be pretty clutch. Making it to the finals, obviously, is what qualifies you. That's too easy for them. We're just watching them. Well, he's offside anyways. They're having a bad year. Yeah, qualifying for the final qualifies you for the Central American Cup, and that is obviously the aim. So we'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah, look how narrow this pitch is. Header from Reyes. Nice. Jose Reyes. I benched him for a while because he wasn't performing. I've had a couple talks with the players, too. That's one of the things I never had to do at Delphine's because we were just so good all the time. But when we were, like, kind of iffy a little bit, it's just scraping those draws, our wingers weren't playing good. We changed to a winger on the right. Inverted winger on the left to match their feet, not their positional preference. And that seemed to change a lot. And then having the chat with them, and they instantly started playing way better. Iancu, Martinez. Ooh, good save from Mendoza. It's right at him, but I bet Iancu's offside. He's not off the post. The pass back to the corner taker is like 90% offside. 
for some reason. That one wasn't, but Yonku hits the post. That's okay. He's, he's still good. 6.6. .6. Maybe could do a little better. Yeah, I'm having fun with this team, but I mean, it's a Prisa. Change that at halftime. We're ball in the box. We're beating Olympia. They don't look too good. They look anxious. This is the season. They don't even have a shot. I mean, they have a disallowed goal, but... I mean... Keep it up. They're literally doing nothing. We'll work the ball in the box. Cost is not playing too hot on the left back position. And I don't have a backup. So that could be concerning. Yeah, we do pick up a fair number of yellows, but nothing's really come into red yet, luckily. Good header down from Zuniga. Flores. Zuniga. Okay, that's not the greatest pass from Flores. So play, not playing too good today. There, Flores. Over the top. They got numbers here. This isn't going to be a good position, but good defensive header from Nunez, the right back there. Very good. All right, Martinez, what can you do? Interesting ball. Works pretty good, though. Reyes, can he get in the middle? Back to Yonku. Tries to go near posts. The goalkeeper hadn't shifted over all the way. Yonku looking attacking. Romero, 6.5. 60 minutes, we take him off. God, we just go positive. I mean, we're crushing this game. Watch this highlight and see. And then we'll probably dump, I don't know, Flores maybe? Martinez is picked up to a 7.0. Play ball through Zuniga. Nice shot. Zuniga. All about the wingers today. All about the wings. And it's 2-0. Royal Society. Some crowds started showing up a little bit more since we started getting a little bit better. So that's nice to see. I think we just... Romero, I'm just... I've had it. I want Chiotti to get a little bit more. Looks like we just had a, something over the top of the net there. In the background. Devron Garcia. Center back. Like, he's kind of my best center back, but it's competitive between him and two other players and he's also like a like that's not saying a lot because that's our weakest position here and he's like a starter Devon Garcia for the national team I play this guy all the time like look he's not good Honduras has struggles defensively I think that might be true in real life as well um what do we want to do here is Zuniga's round up Round up, wound up. I can't really take a cost off because I don't have anybody who can fill in for him. I mean, Rodos can play that position? Kinda? Not really. Everyone's anxious on the bench. Anxious to play? I don't know if anxious is bad or good in this game. Since he's on a yellow... And since Martinez is on a yellow, Racha needs game time. Playing against the best team in the league, but I'm like, let's let's rotate and get fitness levels up. My confidence is just that high with this team right now. And Olympia's in the dumps. They might grab a goal back, but whatever. I think we'll be okay. You know, they're trying stuff. You could press Flores. Make a couple more subs here. Reyes a bit tired. Vargas is the beast on the left wing. Um, we'll just save the last sub for a last second time waster. Can we pick up a third, though? I'd like to see Chiotti get back on the score sheet. It's not a great pass from Flores. Lopez, take it off him. He dribbled it right to you. 
right? Showing off the flare, Nunez. All right, Vargas. We break outside here in this narrow pitch where there's no space to do anything. God, it's like we're playing on a bowling lane. Yeah, Nunez, get up. Get up. Here we go. Rocha. Rocha. Vargas. Loses it. Acosta down the left wing. 7-10 split. Crosses it to Zuniga. Header in. Third goal of the day. Praise him up. Let's bring in somebody. Leave Zuniga on for the potential hat trick. Flores can come out. I don't really have a good backup. Um, you know what? I do want Vargas to learn this position a little bit. So I'm actually just going to bring in Lakaya over here. And then move Vargas back. Olympia. I've even thought about if they fire their coach, would I go there? We'd have to do some work in the second half of the season, but... I think they're about, like, double our value. So their wage bill isn't that much bigger. It's not like we could do that much more, but their reputation is probably quite a bit higher. We've already praised the boys. We're good. On to the next one. This was too easy. And it looks like, I mean, we're 10 points clear of Platensi. Good job, everybody. Let's just move on. And let's see, yeah, Platensi, they drew, looks like, in their game, or are drawing. And we play Marathon next, who's also on 23 points, so we could basically seal one of these top two spots. So we'll be back for the next game. And we're back. All right, so Saprisa won their last game. So they didn't fire their manager. We'll keep an eye on it. They play today against Liberia. Pretty sure that's where people fly into when they like to go on vacation in Costa Rica. So hopefully they drop that game. Then we can maybe get something. All right, let's pick our team. We got a couple. Yeah, we're picking up some yellows here. Reyes actually picked up a little bit of a knock. And Vargas is kind of the beast over there. He's been bossing it this season. So Martinez out, Racha, who's never been fit. Maradiaga can come out for Rodas. Figaro's kind of the other good one, who, but he doesn't really get game time. I just like to rotate the three. Uh, Bernardez is back. Could bring on... Oh, it doesn't matter, just on the bench, somebody who's not going to play. We might play Bernardez. Now we'll just wait till Acosta gets suspended. Nunez is a little tired, though. 84 is about the limit. We'll play Ramirez, and I'll give him a talking to, because he's been bad. Uh, looks like I already talked to him, and he hasn't turned it around, so we'll give him the game. Or the first half, at least. Anybody else I want to swap out? You know what? Chiotti. We'll talk to Romero. I'm just ready to criticize form now. Okay. Yeah, keep working hard. You're still sitting on the bench this game, though. Let's rock and roll. I want to see Kiati come good. Until Bartlett gets here. All right, we're playing uh, Platensi. We're on a good run. We just keep reminding them how good our run is. Should probably say something different. It's a way. It looks like they have a slightly wider field. Be the reason why they play a 4 4 2. I'm still, I've just been rocking in this shirt since I showed up in Dominican. Excuse me, in Honduran, in Honduras. Platensi. Real Espani's losing. That's nice to see to Montagua. Let's get this done. All right, okay, they definitely have the possession. It's kind of weird. We press pretty high up. We play a balanced system. 
all the like all the time. I almost always play balanced. Balanced, positive, cautious if you're trying to defend a lead. Very, very rarely do I go very attacking or very defensive. But usually balanced. I like to think my players are intelligent enough to know how to play in the game a little bit. And if it's obviously not working, then you kind of know what to change. We haven't done too much here, and we're on defensive free kick. Mario's in a good spot. That's a goal. For Jose Quiros. Quiros. Platenzi's up 1 0. Well, yeah, let's hit him right back. Let's do something here. We don't know what to do with all the space. We're used to such tight quarters that we go, I don't, that guy's too far away to pass to. That's like all the way down the field. Like, man, he's only three feet away from you, all right? Just make the pass. Flora's making a run there, but like, the pass wasn't really there. And they have the ball. We're not really pressing. We should be pressing more than this. Rodriguez is through, takes a shot. Come on, guys, what is, what is this? What is happening? Pick up the pace a little bit. See, this might be the problem. Now that we're wide and trying to play short passes, the field's too wide. We don't know how to pass that far. Maybe, I don't know. Attacking corner, Acosta. Terrible. Needed more lift on it. I think I've only ever gone near post in FM24. <laughs> it's worked well for me, so why change it? Costa, I mean, make the run and go by the left or the right winger, or don't. But don't just stand behind him. Tackle somebody? Squeeze him out? Nice, Acosta. Here we go, Yonko. He's going to play it over the top for Kiati. Might be off. Finishes it. He is offside. Linesman raises the flag. It's a good pass. Just a hair too late. Now Mario down there left wing. Here we go. Header away. Header away. Oh, they're driving in the box. Mario, though. Shot goes wide. We are not doing too great. Game's about even, but we have no possession. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Not even close. Oh, he's disheartened. Maybe that was harsh, because he actually finished it. I think we do pass into space. And I think maybe that'll help us a little bit. I mean, they're playing pretty good. What do you do here? Vargas isn't playing good. And I demotivated him. Anxious energy is... It's okay by me sometimes. God, Acosta just can't do anything. Here, go and attack. Get up the field. You also attack. You guys score goals for us. We need that. Let's go. Let's go, gentlemen. We give up another one here. It might be tough. Head her away. Nobody's running on to it, though. I don't even think we have anyone forward. Reyes. Rodas plays it back. I mean, I, I can't, he finds Flores. Nice. Can he finish it from distance off the crossbar? Well, Mazzala attack maybe worked. A little something there, but... Come on, guys. Come on. Latenzi with a game in hand. So if they win another one, if they win their game in hand, we'd be up four points on them if we lose this game. Ionku is playing real bad. And Reyes is injured. Oh, man. This guy's not good, Hunera. We're going to do this. I don't have another winger to bring on, though. 
he's motivated. I guess he's motivated through playing poorly, so he can he can continue. God, I don't want to take him off. Reyes. God, we're going to, though. It's really annoying. Swap you two? Maybe? Neither of you know how to play on the left. Just don't get injured. How about that? I don't know what to do. Other than that, Flores, keep rocking and rolling. I guess we'll bring back in um, Bernardo since he plays better. He's not really good at that, though. Wingback support's probably all right. More support from Ramirez. He's probably playing shit. Yes, he is. He can bring on you. Go make an impact. We haven't done a damn thing. I'm okay with the long kicks. I'd like to counter a little better. Maybe we just, we just do this. Just go for it. It's been so long since I lost. I feel like it's going to start off a string of bad events for us. Here we go, Lakayo. I mean, it's probably because he's looking for the short pass. He has two options. Pass short or pass it into space. And it hurts his little brain, and so he just takes a bad dribble, and then we lose the ball. This is going to end up in behind our line. We're not pressing, like, at all. And they're just patient with it. Making us look silly, boys. Let's, let's get on the ball here. Pass that between the guy's legs, and here's the pass. Killer pass, Rodriguez through, shot. It's in on Sanchez. 2-0, Platensi. Well, I wanted to show off my super cool Red Hot Rail Sociedad team. You saw a Spank Olympia, but this one's not. Let's just cut out this whole game. No, that's stupid. Take the wins with the losses. Here we go. Iancu free kick. Bring us back in the game. Nope, nothing. All right. Well, we've made all our subs. Nothing else we can do. We'll go crazy. Might as well. I already have most everything on. Run at defense? Probably dribble less, honestly. I mean, we're, we're not going to come back in this one. I don't, I don't see it happening today. We're just not doing it. Pitch is too wide. It's going to be something we're going to have to figure out how to get over. There we go, Flores. Nice. Maybe the high press is the way to go all along. Romero, no. Ortiz, we should pick this up. Nunez does. Here we go. Too many dribbles. Nice. Lacayo. He's going to take a shot. Goes in. 2 1. What'd I say? We didn't stand a chance. Who said that? Never count out the Royal Society. I mean, XG's in our favor. Shots, too. Come on, boys. Come on. Grab a draw. Just grab a draw. Grab a draw? I don't think we've had a shot since the last highlight. They're doing long throws over here. Can we get onto that one? Send Romero on his way? No. Tackle here, somebody. Romero does... And now he is on his own. And I told him to finish. And Montez looks like he got a touch on it and sends it wide. Romero. Header from somebody? No. Out for a throw. Maybe a chance for one last highlight? Nope, it was the Romero chance. I think he was a little slow. That's too bad. Real Espana lost. Um, yeah, we kind of should have won that one. I'm saying you didn't do good. Let yourself down. Sanchez, you didn't do great either. Costa. Just not doing it, man. And Iancu, not happy. Kayo did good when he came in. Romero. Can't say you had the chance to win it. He did. He had the chance to win it for us. 
But anyways, we moved to the top of the table with that one, which is pretty cool. We've only got a couple games left. Reyes, it's his wrist. He can't play with wrist ligaments? It's only three days. Oh, I thought it was weeks. All right, so we'll play these three games, and then whatever our playoff game is, is when we'll come back. It's still this day. I just want to skip ahead one day. Maybe see some news. I don't see any news about it. It's not in the job center. And it looks like they won again. Cartagena's did lose again, though. That's another decent job. They're secure financially. Saprice is kind of turning things around. They beat Liberia. Now they play first in the league. And then Arredionio. And then Alajuelense. So maybe they'll fire their manager and we'll try and go in for that job. They're in eighth. I mean, like... They haven't been doing too hot since we started this save, so... Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. It's a little bit longer, but thanks for listening to me talk on and on and on about Honduras and Central American football on this FM24 North American Journeyman save. Appreciate you guys watching, especially those of you that stick around all the way to the end. We'll see you on the next one. Rock on. I almost said Delphines. Rock on the Royal Society of Honduras. Catch you later.